it's really important to be linked to these international agricultural research centres because that's where we get our germplasm from to breed better varieties. Let me give you one personal example. I remember vividly back in 1969, maybe early 70s, when my father grew our first crop of Mexican semi-dwarf wheat. It was short, it didn't fall over. It really yielded very, very well. In fact, it revolutionised the Australian wheat industry. And, and ironically, 30 years later, I found myself on the board of this organisation, CIMIT, the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Centre in Mexico. We have to remember all the crops that Australia grow are exotic to Australia. So if we want to improve their varieties, we have to import germplasm from other parts of the world. So it's extremely important. And whether it be wheat, whether it be grain legumes, whether it be any of the other winter crops that we grow, summer crops as well for that matter, we have to import germplasm. We have to conserve seeds because that's where the new varieties come from. Seeds with new genetic packages, new disease resistances, new quality traits. They come from genetic diversity. We have to have plant genetic resources come in so we can breed our better varieties. Svalbard is a backup seed storage facility in the Arctic on the archipelago Svalbard. It was built in 2007 or 8. Um, it's built into the side of a mountain, funded by the Norwegian government, and is looked after by the Global Crop Diversity Trust. There are about 1,400 gene banks in the world. The precious material from there can be stored in a safe place in Svalbard. Now, Australia had never done this before, and so we put together a box of 343 samples, uh, 301 samples of chickpeas, and 42 samples of field peas from, um, from China, um, and they are now in safe storage. It's a wonderful facility, and uh, next February I hope to take 10 more boxes of seeds from Australia to, to be deposited in, in the Global Seed Vault. A seed vault like this is really very important because many gene banks in the world are vulnerable. Let me give you a couple of examples. The gene bank in Afghanistan was wiped out due to the, due to the war. The gene bank in Iraq was, was wiped out during, the, during the, the Iraq war. These particular gene banks hold very precious material that are not available anywhere else. Even our own gene bank in Horsham is vulnerable. You remember back to the Black Saturday fires. The fire started just west of the, the gene bank in Horsham. Could have been wiped out. So we must have backup storage facilities for our very precious germplasm.